I was being bullied a lot in school because of my weight. So um, BTS helped me kind of get through all the hard times and stuff. 2016 especially because I self-harmed a lot. And um, We Are Bulletproof, the eternal Hobie's line always gets, I'm going to cry. Alright. Don't wanna die with so much pain, too much cry. So I kinda threw away everything. I was like, I'm done. I can't do this. Like if I lose my life now. This song just means so much. I started listening to K-pop in like 2010, 2011, so it was like Super Junior, 21, that kind of era. And then I found BTS when they first debuted in 2013 and they looked so different. I was like, who is this? I watched the Danger dance practice and I was immediately hooked because they were just amazing dancers. Like I had never seen anything like that before. I had a friend, uh, she was my roommate in college we were driving around and she had been obsessed. I think that night before actually she had fallen into a rabbit hole and like started learning all of their names and it was over from there. And the next day she played um, Blood, Sweat and Tears in the car and I was like, okay, you know, this is a nice song. And the next song that comes up was Fire. And all I hear is Suga's voice when he says, And I was like, wait, wait, rewind that. <laughs> Uh, actually, it was Ashley, uh, my wife, who put it. Uh, she just put, I believe it was DNA music video, and she put that up on like the screens like right before class, and I was like, oh, okay, that's pretty cool. Once we started dating is where, uh, we st is where I started learning more about BTS, and so started like develop like just thinking and like like listening to all their stuff over time eventually my bias became uh jungkook and then pretty much it kind of just went downhill not downhill but it kind of just went upwards from there my daughter had been a fan of bts since 2015. she being my daughter got on my social media and followed all the bts accounts so I happened to be on my phone when the dynamite comeback happened and so I was like okay I'll watch this and I loved it. Um, they did the Grand Central Station on performance and uh, they were outstanding and then the pandemic started um, three weeks later or something so I thought I want to see that video again and I looked it up and then clicked on something else and clicked on something else and then I watched their run episodes which are pretty funny and uh, it just brought me a lot of happiness. You know? BTS has helped me through all the hardships that I've faced um, since becoming an army. My home life is not great. <laughs> it is not good. It's kind of like a back and forth kind of toxic relationship. Back in like April, mostly like very late March, and even it got the worst on my birthday in, in May 4th, um, in which I literally lost my physical ability to actually talk. Um, even, even like I couldn't form sentences anymore, I could only speak with like maybe one or two, three words, without having a complete mental breakdown. I was ready to 
be hospitalized and have someone watch me. That's how bad it got. I was in college and I didn't know what was wrong with me. And um, I had, you know, I had a lot of health issues. I was having a lot of doctor's visits and, and no one could really tell me what was going on. Basically what happens is the spine uh, produces fluid, like every, everyone's body produces fluid for the brain to, you know, work and function. Mine either overproduces or just doesn't drain properly. It causes a lot of vertigo. It causes a lot of, um, like, nausea and fatigue. And uh, even looking at you now, like, I'm seeing double. <laughs> I lost my, I called him my papa, my grandfather. Um, it was April of last year. Then um, my grandmother passed away from COVID um, in August. Yeah, that, was, that was hard. Um, they were married for like 62 years. So yeah, it's really hard. Actually might need a tissue for this, I'm sorry. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> uh, I didn't even expect this was gonna happen. Hey, Lord. <sighs> the song that actually I related most to them was actually "Film Out." From all the memories stored in my heart. I gather up the ones of you, link them together, gazing at them projected across the room. I feel you with every burst of pain. It just kind of, it reminded me of their relationship so much, and then also of like me and the family not being able to see him ever again. I actually showed that to my mom and my two aunts. They're all sisters. Um, and they all cried because <laughs> it was like, they understood. Um, they know how much BTS means to me and they watched it and read the lyrics and everything. And they, they were like, yeah, that is, yeah. It's like pretty much encapsulates the grieving process, I guess. Um, and that kind of actually helped me um, a lot. I don't think I would have been able to get through all of that um, as well as I had without, without them, at least. So, I don't know. <laughs> Life in the pandemic for everybody, um, I'm sure, has been so inconsistent and nobody knows what's going to happen tomorrow, what's going to happen next week. I was just having such a hard time handling my two youngest sons who were adopted and experienced trauma in their young life with, and it affected their brain development. Quarantine, the COVID thing really affected them, really affected them. And it was just chaos from waking up in the morning until they went to bed. I have one son and uh, I live alone. And so he got transferred during the pandemic. Um, so I was alone for a year and a half with the pandemic and it was it was difficult times sometimes. Um, when COVID happened, I didn't really realize how depressed I had become because I couldn't go anywhere and I was used to long drives to Girl Scout events with my daughter in the car or 
um, just going out with my husband for a movie or dinner or whatever. And it was just kind of the day to day to day, just being at home kind of got to me. Uh, it really kind of threw everybody into a loop because we were so uncertain about whether we were actually going to get concerts back, if we were, if any of this was ever going to happen. And when they put out B, it was like just a breath of fresh air in this world of us not knowing what was going to happen. She played Blue and Gray for me when B came out and I didn't had no idea what the song was about. She played it in the car and I was so moved by the depth of emotion I heard in the, the performance that I said, okay, I've, I have to look this up. My daughter, um, I love her to death. Um, she has struggled with depression and anxiety for a really, really long time. But again, with COVID, she became really withdrawn because school was all online. She didn't want to deal with people. Um, and that included us, um, her family. So she would hide in her room a lot. And it was really hard anytime I tried to engage in a conversation with her. Of course, she was also a little bit younger then. And, you know, she was at that stage where everything I say is nonsense. Um, but when we started talking about BTS, then we, it gave us a common ground and we could open up conversations about other things. So the topics that BTS would sing about, we would talk about. So Blue and Gray, for example, talking about anxiety and depression, we were able to talk about her anxiety and depression as we started listening to the lyrics and breaking down the lyrics of their song. Mental health has always been really, like a really big issue. Um, and to know that they actually care and they speak to that uh, in their music is really important. She, like I said, she struggles with depression, and so Butterfly was kind of the song that really made her feel like, hey, I, you know, this, I can get through this. And so Butterfly is kind of the song that we will listen to when we're kind of sad. Will you stay by my side? Will you promise me, if I touch you, that you might fly away and you might be shattered? I think. So, when back maybe quite a, more than a few years ago, I was in my deepest, darkest for my depression, and I nearly was not here anymore. Uh, and I know that at that point in time a lot of people in my life um, were trying to reach me but they were scared that I'd break. If they either tried too hard or they tried to uh, hug me or whatever that I would just fall apart and I would leave. So that kind of, so Butterfly in a way reminded me um, it's like, I'm scared that if I let go of you, or if I come too close, that you will fly away and that you will drift to a place where I can't find you.
The only time in that moment of panic for that month and a half where I barely spoke, the only time I actually had uh, courage, confidence, and uh, that lighter feeling was when I was listening to their music. Even if it was just three minutes, four minutes, if someone were to come and ask me a question when I was like feeling more leveled because I was listening to them, I would, could actually form like more than just one or two words or not in my head. I watch a lot of reactors on YouTube and they always, they're always saying, you know, um, the old um, intro was big hit entertainment music for healing. And they're always, always like, yeah, that's, that's so true. Like you don't have to understand them to feel the emotions in their songs. You can just listen to them and just know how they feel in each song all the time. I just love music and how you can speak through it and just, there's, there's a lot of things that can transcend. And whenever I found BTS, it, it really does do that. And I'm, I'm sure you guys, I mean, at the concert, if you really can see the crowd and like all the ethnicities and people and all these different ages and everything and languages, and I think that's awesome. I just think their message is universal in music, of course. You don't have to understand opera to be moved by it. Well, it's in another language, but you certainly feel the music whether you know what they're saying or not. And I think it's the same thing with BTS. They have songs that address issues, uh, mental health issues that are present in, in any time of life. It's not just for adolescents or young people in their 20s. It's, it's stuff that resonates with people my age and older. We've struggled, we've had pain, we've had a hard time getting through this. This makes people feel they're not alone, that hey, I, I think I'm only having these feelings, that's not true. And then you see these, um, they're talented and attractive and wealthy and you're like, well, they can go through this and are having a hard time and, you know, um, it happens to everybody. Life is different with BTS because, well, as I said, it's a neutral place for my daughter and I to kind of go and it brings us together and brings us joy. It's a place where we can have joy together before those moments were few and far between. Now we have joy together a lot. It, it's just a nice, I don't know how to describe it, it's just a nice way for us to put aside all the day-to-day -day strife and the, the difficulties of being a mom and a daughter and enjoy something together. Because of the PCOS, because of the hypothyroid, because of stuff that's just going on in my body, I just was bedridden a lot. A lot of, you know, days I was down, I would escape into BTS. BTS was like the light that came into my life. Every day I had something to look forward to. They had years and years of material and they just made me laugh. I belly laughed for the first time in years. I grew up with them is what I always say. I'm doing a lot better now, actually. Um, I've grown definitely a lot since high school. <laughs> that was like six years ago. But my mental health is a lot better than it used to be. It's so much about, I guess, progression and seeing how they were at one point and then now seeing where they're at now and understanding that not like you can have the same trajectory, but you can have like progression and progress and things understanding that like, chi like change will happen is like very okay to know. And it's very okay to like not only experience that, but to be open about it. Uh, their song Pied Piper. Uh, they pretty much um, tell you that you, you know, you know, you love us, but you need to get yourself together. And when I first heard that song, uh, I, I had taken a break from my program to, for mental reasons. I didn't want to lose the progress I had, and I didn't know how to find that again, and then that song. And then they woke me up. And shortly after they woke up, I opened up my laptop to look at my classes. 
And now I literally, right before I came here on Friday, I just finished my clinicals on Thursday. So, hi. I was like, I'm gonna make you proud of me. I'll always have something to escape to. I'll always have something to kind of remind me to push myself. And as far as just social activism as well and just being kind and loving people and I, I didn't really have much kindness before and I think BTS has really helped me have compassion for other people and just just you know understand that other people are going through things too and you kind of just want to be a light to their to their world and in any kind of way I mean I, I constantly see the impact they are making in Ashley's life and for me, there's like a there's a sense of like appreciation, knowing that like even though they don't know it, that they are helping someone that they don't know. I've come a long way in terms of being able to vocalize again um, since I had lost that. And thank you for giving me back my voice, um, music, life myself, things that um, no one else can give me, uh, but your music found a way. Um, you know, I, I um, saw a picture of John Cook uh, on the beach, it's his picture on Instagram, and uh, we were in California at the same time, and we have a picture of the same sunset, and I said, would I have gone up to John Cook and what would I have said to him, would I have fangirled? and woman, um, or would I just let him be and let him relax and meditate or whatever he was doing? And my son goes, no, you would just go up and say thank you. And that's what I would do. Makes me emotional. They always find a way to make me smile, right? And every single emotion that I can possibly have, they have given back to me. So I just want to give to them as much as possible in any way I can. I, I, I can't explain in words how much I love them because <laughs> I mean they're my world so I just want to thank them for everything they've given me and I really wouldn't be here without them honestly.